Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to give you some updates on this T37 that I've been showing you guys how to model. I wasn't quite happy with uh, the results that I had last time. And so what I did, I bought a plastic little model uh, to put together to take a look at it and see what's going on uh, with the model. And uh, what I came to the conclusion that um, the sides of the model are more square than what I had before. Um, I had uh, more of a roundish um, look to the model so far. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, also the separation of the canopy and the fuselage, I wanted that to be more predominant also. So I just was not happy with that, um, the last version that I was showing you guys how to model. So um, what I did, I, remodeled it and this time I'll show you um, what I've done here let's see you turn these off let me go ahead and change the name of this first fuselage change this to canopy It's funky looking here. The whole canopy goes all the way in there. <laughs> and so let's see, turn the canopy, the engine, left engine. Oops, spelled it wrong. And the vertical. Okay, I believe that's it. I'll just turn these off. Turn the canvas back on. So what I've done this time, I went ahead and normal thing, come up here to create form. Let me turn origin on. And I want it on this plane. And what I did this time Let's see, I want to use a box. I use the box. And um, just imagine the box being around here, center of the box, like so. Then pulled it back as usual. Then add it, faces as usual. Then got rid of the four up here. Four in the back. All right. Now, this gave me more of the shape that I needed for the back here and um, even the front because it's flat up here on the top. And uh, let me turn this off a sec. It's flatter up here on the top and flat here and flat on the sides. So the box, it um, gives me a much better shape. So you did, um, just went ahead and did the normal um, things to get it all um, into shape like this. And doing it with a box, it gives a much better shape. So when you're modeling um, 
airplanes and things in Fusion, if you're using um, a form, try to um, select the best form or the closest form to that shape that you're trying to model. Now I'm just doing this really fast because um, I just, just wanted to show you guys um, just an update to do this if you're going to model this to use a square. All right. All right, and this is about, okay, now I'm not going to uh, finish all this. I just want to show you guys um, what the square of this bot with the body looks like. Um,
Okay, go ahead and close this. Or let me do something first before. Um, Alt-1, see what this box mode looks like. All right. Now, and as you can see, to me that looks much better than using the um, the round. Um, let's finish this up in the back here. Let's see. Turn the canvases on. Come back here. Turn the canvases off. Okay. Now, this looks better than it, um, it looks more to scale than it did when it was round. It's like I said, it's a more squarish looking body. And uh, how I did the canopy, turn the canvases back on. Um, did a split body. Turn the bodies off and use the line. Then a fit point spline. Another line. Turn the sketches back on, turn the bodies on. Come up a split body. This is a body to split. This is a splitting tool. Click OK. OK, now. Now this is um, the canopy. Turn this off. Turn sketches off. Okay. Now what I did, actually I cut this off too back here. Let me change that. Okay, now what I did is I um, inserted the plane right here. And it's plane A3, I believe, yes. It's plane here. came up here and selected the quad ball and on this plane here. Then just imagine this being a complete circle in here.
and click OK. And I just move this back to here. Click OK. And you just match this. And click OK and see what we have so far. And turn the canvases off. OK. Now we have to work this to get this fit in here, fit it in here. So now more editing. And you just keep going back and forth until you um, get a nice fit in here. OK. Now this side needs to go in. And just keep playing with this until you get a nice shape in there. Turn the canvases back on.
and you can see there's two colors here. There's a, like a greenish color and um, a, um, a darker gray color, and you can see the separation in here with the, with the two colors. Okay, now that's beginning to look a lot better in there now. And turn the canvases off. And let's see here. Okay, we have this. Now, you'll just um, keep playing with this and pull this out and pull this out here over here and raise this a little until it's um, all seated in there. Like, um, not like that one. Um, like this fuselage here. Let me turn this one off. As you can see, this fuselage here. You just keep playing with the... Um, form the sphere and let me turn the until you get the canopy seated down in here like this and this looks way better uh, much much better than what I had before and we've got that raised little bump right here and a really nice separation of this in here. So yeah, just keep playing with that until um, you're happy with the shape because this looks way better than uh, what I had earlier by using the squares and by um, um, separating this and using that um, form up in here instead of trying to model this all together, it's, this just looks better. But um, if you guys want to go ahead and work on the um, the engine nacelle too, what I did there, I used the um, a cylinder here, and um, what you can do to get that going. And because I don't want to make this video too long, um, you'll just put a plane right here and where the um, engine nacelle should be and then you'll um just look at it from the front here like here and um, um just imagine you know this being round here and starting it there and then you just drag it all the way back to the end and then you do the press pulling and everything like it did um to get the shape of it and i haven't cut this yet through here all I did, um, just did was the, um, this here, so um, I'm not going to do the cut here until I get the wing on here. Once I get the wing on here, then I'll go ahead and cut this and um, to get that going. But, um, yeah, but if anybody wants the drawings to this, um, send me an email. I can send you these drawings. I found them on the Internet, but um, if you can't find them, just go ahead and send me an email, and um, I'll... Um, send this drawing to you so yeah but um anyway that's gonna do it for this video the next video that i show you of this um 233 we'll go ahead and finish it up we'll do um, um this engine to sell um the wing and then the um the stab the horizontal and the vertical stab and that'll wrap it up um for modeling this so um yeah so that's gonna do it and um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like my videos, go ahead and like them and comment as well. And if you can, watch a video right after this one. It really helps my channel grow. Also, I invite you to join my Patreon site and my Facebook group. And the um, name of those are um, Cat Build Fly RC. So, yeah, have a look over there, uh, Cat Build Fly RC. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.